Season's greetings, America. 2024 is almost upon us, and you have a big decision to make come next November. But do you really believe the Democrats or the Republicans really have your best interest in mind? Of course not. That's why the only choice for President of the United States is Greg Stilson. It's the job he was destined to do. Now you might be thinking, wait a second, isn't Greg Stilson the guy who was almost assassinated in 1979 by a crazed psychic gunman named John Smith? And wasn't Greg Stilson the guy who used a small child as a human shield? Well, that's the story the fake news media would like you to believe. But here is the real story of Gregory Stilson. He was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, in a time when the nation was still struggling through the Great Depression. He was the only child of a hard-working oil field roughneck and a wife who knew her proper place in the family. Although he would eventually grow in stature, Greg was a meek and sickly child, a little whippersnapper his father playfully called Runt. But thanks to a Charles Atlas gym set, Greg eventually became strong enough to join his father in the oil fields. The father and son bonding couldn't last forever though, Harry Stilson passed away peacefully in a massive fire. And now Greg was the man of the household. He encouraged his mother to enter the workforce while he focused on completing high school in the top 98% of his class. After getting his high school diploma, Greg resisted the elitist temptation of the university life and instead pulled up his sleeves and got to work in the transportation industry. Then, after finding Jesus, Greg went into the rainmaking business. And at the tender age of 19, he stood up to the tyranny of the Ranchers Association. They sent thugs after him, armed with brass knuckles and Greg Stilson sent them packing in more ways than one. Greg has been a house painter, an actor on Broadway, and a real estate tycoon. And then, after wandering the highways and byways of our beloved country, he finally found a home in the town of Ridgeway, New Hampshire, a community that had a lot of potential, but a desperate lack of leadership. Yet again, Greg pulled up his sleeves and got to work. He got rid of those big government parking meters and set up a successful pay-what-you-want system. Instead of putting juvenile delinquents behind bars, he put them into work programs to become productive members of society. And he turned one of the most notorious biker gangs into a security detail that now rides on the right side of the law. Just imagine what this former mayor and two-term congressman could do to build a better America. Greg Stilson will increase the police force across all 50 states. And how will he pay for this? Not from your tax dollars but by tapping into the existing funds for such communistic programs as welfare or the library. Our nation will become safer in large part thanks to Greg's 10 o'clock curfew policy, but also because of his plans to ramp up the death penalty to include drug dealers and other lowlifes. After all, why should murderers be the only ones to walk the green mile? And for those of you whining about the environment, Greg Stilson has a plan to eliminate 100% of the Earth's pollution. Yes, every scrap of junk and toxic waste will be launched into space. That's right, Moon. It's your problem now. Now, you might be thinking, 
What about the human shield incident? Well, here's what the media doesn't want you to know. That would-be assassin was a man named John Smith. He miraculously awoke from a coma with a new God-given power. He could touch a person and see their past, present, and future. Skeptics said he was a hoax. Others said he was insane. But time and again his predictions came true, and he even solved the case of the Castle Rock Strangler. At a campaign rally, he once touched Greg Stilson and saw his truth that Greg would become the President of the United States. And that's when Greg knew that John Smith was the real deal. Think about this. If you could go back in time and kill Hitler, would you do it? If you're a loyal American, then of course the answer is yes. So, what if John Smith set out to kill the next Hitler? Not this man, but this baby. That's why in this photo he's doing everything he can to help John Smith have a clear shot. Greg Stilson is a man who's not afraid to make the tough call and the right call every single time. And that's what happened back in 1979. Unfortunately, the deep state put an end to John Smith. And Greg Stilson's career fell to ashes. But like the Phoenix, this great American has risen once again and is ready to serve his country and save it. And that baby? Some say he grew up to be Jeffrey Dahmer. Or maybe Jared Fogle. Whatever the case, we should have listened to Greg, and now this November, we still can. Greg Stilson for president. Let's build a better America. My name is Greg Stilson. I am running for president of the United States, and I approve this message. And thank you for watching and listening to the Stephen King Book Club.